out of nice heaven trend was born, where thousands of household looked as pretty as a picture. In the eyes of Li Bai, the famous point from the Tang Dynasty, Chengdu is blessed with unicorn natural and diamonds and long-lasting prosperity. The land of abundance, the circle of life. Chengdu is famously known as the land of abundance and the capital of leisure. Chengdu has 4,500 years of urban civilization, a historical and cultural city, one of the centers of the ancient Chinese civilization. Built in 2,300 years ago, the Dujiangyan irrigation system, it gave rise to a land of plenty that was free from flus, drought of famines. Chengdu has been carrying the creative and entrepreneurial genes since ancient time. The first local public school in China, the Wenbeng's Stone Chamber, built in 141 BC, is still one of Chengdu's finest school today. The oldest looms in the world. And the world's first paper money, Zhaozi, were both born in Chengdu. The first picture tube in contemporary China the first stock after the reform and opening up, and China's first innovation and entrepreneurship index, all embodies the wisdom and the diligence of the people of Chengdu. Chengdu is surrounded by pristine mountains and rivers, and immersed in rich and glorious cultural. Du Fu the greatest poet in the Tang Dynasty spent the most close time of his life here. Chic and elegant, plus the urban ethos of the optimism and inclusiveness, made Chengdu the most attractive city of the famous poets of the time. I use Today, Chengdu is the happiest city in China, the best city to visit in China named by the UNWTO. Chengdu has grown fast thanks to the development of the national level Tianfu New Area and the national metropolitan city. Today, Chengdu ranked first in comprehensive competitiveness among the new first tier cities, the Milken Institute, an American think tank, named Chengdu as China's best performing major city. The well-renowned Global City Rating Agents released the World City List in which Chengdu's comprehensive competitiveness was rated as one of the global top 100. Today, Chengdu has the modern industrial system in the era of the new economy. Today's Chengdu is a truly open international city as China's nearest national metropolis to Europe, it has more than 100 international roads to the rest of the world. The Tianfu International Airport under construction 
will enable Chengdu to become mainland China's third city with two international airports. The future passenger capacity will increase to 150 million per year. More than 200 countries and regions around the world share economic and trade ties with Chengdu. Nearly 300 of the world's top 500 companies have settled in Chengdu. The presence of the almost 20 consular missions made it named as China's third largest consular city. There are many opportunities here for Australia in Chengdu, and these have just grown stronger with the recent signing of the China-Australia Free Trade Agreement. But I guess what I would say is for anyone coming to Chengdu from anywhere in the world, you can always find somewhere to feel at home. Today, Chengdu has a strong atmosphere of entrepreneurship and innovation. Chengdu today has an excellent business environment. It is accelerating the process of internationalization, legalization, and facilitation, fettering its market vitality and competitiveness. Chengdu has become successful thanks to the Go West and the Belt and the Road initiatives. The Go West campaign gives Chengdu a historical mission of the lending, the accelerated development of the Western China, a pivotal point of the Belt and the Road initiative, and the Yangtze River Economic Belt. The Chengdu Europe Express trains depart from Chengdu and reach Europe's hinterlands within 11 days. Chengdu is an opportunity for the world. Chengdu has truly become the gateway to the West and has been able to establish itself as a very prominent supply chain hub for China to the rest of the world. Du Fu, a great point of the Tang Dynasty, receded. From the window, I got a glimpse of the never melt Xiling Snow Mountains. The people in Chengdu still enjoy the same scenery on their balcony today. Braving the nice cup of tea, reading a good book, and listening to the beautiful melody. That's the life of many people in Chengdu, making it an artsy capital of music. The Tianfu Greenway is turning Chengdu into an evergreen and picturesque city of blooming flowers and clean rivers. Innovation, creation, is Chengdu's innate cultural genes. Elegant fashion is another wonderful cultural zeitgeist of Chengdu. Optimistic inclusion is the eclectic cultural disposition of Chengdu. Public interest is the external cultural expression of Chengdu. The cultural heat of Chengdu accumulated over the thousands of years transmit the Sujian power of the Tianfu cultural. Chengdu has the timeless charm of the human and the cultural city. Tianfu Chengdu, a city you never want to leave. Chengdu, 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 Chengdu.